hello guys hopefully everyone is fine in this video we are going to discuss the concept of uh, re-throwing an exception re-throwing an exception means that caps, uh, the exception must be re-thrown sometimes one try block is uh, when we are throwing an exception one catch block is not sufficient enough to handle the exception so that's why the exception is thrown from the catch block and uh, there is another catch block that actually handles that exception so we'll take a particular example we'll go to main and i'm just writing try over here and uh, let me write uh, try st uh, statement is written and in try i'll just write hello hello function is there inside try block so try block we are going to execute a function and there is a catch block i am writing catch in uh, x and c out handled right so i have written that i'll tell you the significance of this catch block but in try i have written hello uh, hello as a function which is going to be uh, defined hello and in this guys what i have written is i have created another try and uh, in try i uh, i'm going to throw an exception i've written throw and i'm writing x let's say i'm writing throw So x you can write if, if uh, throw value uh, you can give int m and you are uh, writing throw m so you can write that also uh, it's entirely up to you i'm throwing an exception m now let's see whether this catch block uh, catches it or not there is a catch block and i'm writing int y uh, but this catch block uh, may not be uh, may not be able to handle this exception so uh, i'm writing through why i've written that now instead uh, catch is handling that exception another exception is thrown and that would be handled so if i try to execute this particular code just see over here in try i have written hello uh, function call i go to function hello i have defined uh, declared a number m integer i have tried uh, i have written throw m the moment throw is written it goes to catch block it checks m data type matches with the data type inside this catch block absolutely they match m data type is int y data type is int they are matching when they are as matching your catch block gets aggregated but unfortunately your catch block also has thrown an exception y so it means whenever it is thrown it goes over here and checks whether now another catch block is written when one catch block is not able to handle exception another catch block comes in handy that must be written by the way so the moment a throw by is written it checks with the data type which is mentioned in uh, in the catch block in main statement so the moment a throw over here uh, comes it matches with the data type of uh, integer they are matching and i'm writing c out handled so technically from function definition we went to uh, firstly function call then we went to function definition inside that we thrown an exception and went to catch block inside the function uh, and again throw that particular exception the moment throw comes it goes to a particular catch block it goes inside the main function check whether uh, they are matching yes they are matching so hence we have written handled so from one catch block we went to another catch block to check whether exception uh, exception can be handled or not yes definitely it is handled this is known as re-throwing an exception if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe if there is any doubt kindly post it in comment box we are happy to answer thank you very very much for your support